The media continues to be preoccupied not with Wimbledon, but with Nick Kyrgios. In fact, hardly anyone else rates a mention. A bloke who spits at spectators, swears at linesmen, tells umpires they're a disgrace, always, it seems, on the lookout for an enemy and someone to fight with. But we're told he packs the stadiums, increases the ratings. In short, he is box office. Yesterday, when the two other young Australians, De Minor and Kubler, were beaten, Kyrgios prevailed in five sets against a mild-mannered 20-year-old American, 6-2 in the fifth. So Kyrgios is down to the last eight at Wimbledon. Magnificent achievement to play the Chilean Christian Garin, who beat Alex de Menor after de, Men de Menor led two sets to love. But will Kyrgios make it onto the court for his next match? He behaved himself yesterday on centre court and then ran foul again of Wimbledon officials. The clothing and apparel rules for players, including practice, require the attire at Wimbledon to be, quote, almost entirely white. And that applies, quote, from the point at which the player enters the court surround, unquote. Now, these rules have applied since the tournament began in 1877. Kyrgios's playing attire adhered to the rules during the course of the match. But he switched to red and white Air Jordan sneakers and a red Jordan brand cap when entering the court and after the match. It's said that tournament officials will be speaking to Kyrgios to ask why he was breaking the rules. Now, I'm not the only one who's formed the impression that the Wimbledon officials have had enough. He admits that he has a massive chip on his shoulder, but his break with officialdom has meant that in his career, he's been fined almost $800,000. For other reasons, this is a story. He prepared for Wimbledon on basketball courts in Sydney. He's without a coach. He can do anything with a tennis ball. No one is asking him to be something that he isn't. But courtesy and respect must go hand in hand with sporting talent. Otherwise, the individual and the talent are diminished. It'll be interesting to see whether Wimbledon is prepared to enforce its own standards.